And, and this tells a story too. And again, if you look at John Bodhi, he had a significant dip yeah. between 2005 and 2010. Yeah. Since then, he's been on an upward trajectory. Exactly. Except, except that the rate of climb seemed to have slowed. Exactly. In and the last why, two, in the last two elections, he's contested. Why, why has the so this particular time? So this is what we talked about the Mokta Baba and um, you know. Uh, Hobson Adoya election. Yeah. I think that John Wedu did not perform well here. And I'll explain. But that's 77%. Oh, yeah, no, no, no doubt. You had a Richard Ayaba okay. returning from the US to contest John Wedu, and he put a, I mean, over a thousand votes. That is significant because he just showed up. That would tell you, that would send you a signal. And the signal is sent to you. Now, this was more like a yes or no vote for John Wedu in 2018. Uh, yes, it was just like a yes or no vote for him. So if he returned this margin, I'm sure he looked at it and said, I did not perform well. Mm. But that notwithstanding. So you're expecting him to have done close to 90? He should have done about 90%. Because of, of, because of who he because was? He was contesting he was at that contest. against. And, okay. I mean, and, and I was in Kofuri and I saw uh, you know, Richard Ahiagba at the time begging delegates to vote. Nobody even knew him. Yeah, exactly. Nobody knew him. So, so I get your point. I get your point. Because of the, of, of the quality of the opposition, yes. he should have done far better than 77. Than 77. Okay, I get it. But if you're John Boehner, you're looking at this, you shouldn't be too worried about tomorrow. No, you Except, shouldn't. except, except, again, you're considering who else exactly. is in the race with me. We'll come there shortly.